hey I'm gonna um, make this little video to um, short video to show you in steps how to go about uh, actually <clears throat> getting the information over from the state but in the meantime let me go right here and show you in the tax lien course where this area right here the residential um, private lenders is of which we was talking about earlier this is where you're going to see all these lenders at like I say it's quite a good bit of them these for hard money lenders here you're also going to see commercial lenders which is here in this area okay now um, you pretty much got this um, yeah you, you pretty much catch all this because you started watching the videos already but anyway when you come here to the state's website you're going to be here and you're going to come to the inventory make sure you log in and then any properties that so for example Harrison County is what you were looking for you click search um, let's say for instance you picked this is what I do most of the time um, I'm gonna come right here and click show details if this dimension doesn't meet what I'm looking for then I'm not gonna even go any further with this property this is a 20 by 118 um, me I'm looking for 50 by 100 at least so this wouldn't be of interest to me but for some people it will be of interest to them they maybe want to put a mobile home there or something like that so it's different but um, for me I'm be looking for 50 by 100 so which I'm gonna now to go back to where you was at before don't hit this back button up here come in here where it say back to search page if not then it's gonna make you start all this all over again okay mm -hmm. so let's say for instance I went to this particular property here this is a 60 by 100 that you see right here under, the, under these dimensions so it will be a piece of property that I'm actually of interest or that will be of interest to me but I still have to go and see this property so I'm gonna copy this parcel number I can copy from here or I can go back to the search page and come back to this particular property and I can copy the parcel number from over here and then we're gonna go to regrid click on your go to map and when regrid opens up this is where up here at the top of you see where it say find address place parcel or lat long, latitude or ladder longitude so you're gonna paste that here that parcel number and here's that property 262 Bush Lane it's a little small piece of property this is the area that I was telling you about this under layers but this is a street view so I want to see click satellite see here now this is a landlock piece of property so this is not a piece of property I would want to get by landlock I mean there's a property here I won't be able to get to my property from this side here's a piece of property somebody else on won't be able to get it from that side I won't be able to get it from this side in this side so that property is landlocked the only time I probably would purchase this property is if I'm gonna try to sell it to these people right here so this is landlocked so I wouldn't be interested in this and I think this is out here by are oh, these are some apartments okay yeah I wouldn't this is landlocked so that wouldn't be of no interest at right here this property I was so let me go back over here find another piece of property that I may would get not that it's too small let's see that's too small let me look and see what this is here 25 by 30 it's too small for me This one don't have a dimensions on here. So let me go and pull it up myself and see. I 
all right this is a nice size piece of property right here so judging by what I'm looking at right now this property has to be built up but the property itself it will be one that I would get but it looks like it's gonna have to be doing some built up gonna have to be in here so let me yeah I can tell from here that ain't no tree so I know yeah this is something that I would chances are I probably would try to get something like this but this you're gonna have to put some money in here building this property up I can tell this is a slope area up in here <clears throat> I definitely I don't see the drain right here that's what be, will be of interest right here making sure nobody all the water ain't coming down over here in my property but that would be a piece of property that I probably would look at getting if I was you know interested in getting a piece of property it's 6,862 square feet so it's a little bit bigger than what I normally would get which is 5,000 square feet but anyway yeah so this is what you would do for that alright so that's a piece of property that I would be looking looking at uh, I go back to the search page and I go back and find this property what was this property at? Creek Cove, Creek Wood Cove. Okay, let me see. Should have remembered the name. Creek Wood Cove. This it right here. So this is the property. So I would do save property. All right. And when you do save, I'm gonna just click on one of these for save property, just to show you. All right. So the property added. You come up here and you click save property. Then you're gonna start the application. Okay, you're gonna put your phone number here. Next. Right here you're gonna put an offer of a hundred dollars. Then you're gonna click next. You ain't gotta worry about none of this. You're gonna come here and you're gonna click next again. You ain't gotta worry about that. Next again. Next again. Here you will have to put no but I will have to type in yes and I would do 183 properties because it's asking you have you bought any other state lands this calendar year so as of January I purchased 183 properties in the whole state of Mississippi so I would do finish okay then I have to come back here in process applications when you come in process application you're gonna pay online then you have to click here but in your situation you're gonna have 10 of these gonna be done so you're gonna do all 10 of them just like you just did in order for all 10 of them to come here and then you'll select each one that you're paying for see yeah okay yeah so anyway yeah that's what you do I clicked off of it that's where you have to go about purchasing the properties log in Harrison County start yeah save properties I'll just go ahead and delete that remove properties yeah yeah so that's how you go about doing that you know getting your property getting you know um, finding them going on regrids checking it out then coming back here saving it then you know going through that process but anyway this should help you out um, a 
a pretty good bit. 